So Carrie, have you ever heard the story of Narcissus? Briefly, briefly, but I don't remember any of the details. So, if you would like to share. So Good do day. you know that uh, <laughs> the term Narcissus comes from Greek mythology? And it's actually an interesting story, a love story of um, denial, of selfishness, and all kinds of mischief from the deities or the gods of that era. So narcissism, personality qualities, include thinking very highly of oneself, admiration, believing others are inferior, and lack empathy for others. I would say this whole concept is really interesting to me. Okay. We have multiple people in all our lives. I believe that they're sprinkled throughout humanity. And possibly they're part of the reason why humanity exists and, and why we persevered in the first place. So um, I'm interested to hear more. Then keep going. All right. So this story is uh, Greek mythology, and it's the story of Echo and Narcissus. Echo was a beautiful nymph, mystical beautiful spirit being I like those hot anime kind of drawings that's what it was back then H hen hentai? hentai yes hentai hentai okay so think about the nymphs as hentai right hot so echo was known to be a gossip and always to have the last word and whatever she said so she would conversate with anyone and she would be that person who would say, oh, goodbye. You would say goodbye. Thinking it's then. And she would say, oh, well, you have a great day. And you're thinking, okay. No, you know what? You have a wonderful day. And then she would say, no, you have a spectacular day. She was like always the last word type of person, right? She was one of those people. Sorry to cut you. She was one of those people who always try to one-up you. Yes. No matter what. And Like, hey, guys, mm -hmm. I finally did this. Oh, well, I did this. I know what you mean. Zeus is a lightning god who throws thunderbolts as his, like, uh, you know, his majestic weapon, right? Hera is his wife, also his sister. Their father is Kronos. Their story is so fucked up. Anyways, Zeus, he is a womanizer. He tends to go on Earth and he sleeps with all these random women. Like, he's like GQ status, right? He's sleeping with the nymphs. He's sleeping with the mortals. He's bearing children here. He's bearing children there. Bastards here. Bastards there. The kings So you're saying Zeus, Zeus is who we all wish we could be. No, it's very interesting stuff. And I think there's a lot of value, guys. We're going into narcissism, narcissist. And this is the story of narcissist. Uh, going back from his parents and his family and all that so i think it's pretty interesting Hera, she's looking for zeus where the fuck are you you know she's in the second third heavens like all right he ain't here he's down to earth fucking some nymph zeus tells echo hey distract Hera from me while i escape because she finds me it's gonna be an all-out war so echo you know she goes she meets Hera. And she's talking to her, oh, oh, Hera, you look beautiful today. You know, just that banter talk or that just that elevated talk. Hera finally realizes what Echo is doing. And Zeus, sea boy, escapes. Right? When she realizes that she was fooled by Echo, she curses Echo with the ability to don't ever speak again. The last word that she would utter will be the one that she hears. So Echo is talking Narcissus, right? And Narcissus is one of the most beautiful men in Greece at that time. Women wanted him. Men wanted him. Deities. So you're trying Which to say he's just like you then? Is that what you're trying oh, to tell nah. me? Nah, he's, not. He's, like, <laughs> he's like the Brad Pitt of today's world. He was uh, one of those dudes that everyone wanted and he would deny them. 
he he just did not want anything to do with them. So Echo falls in love with Narcissus on first sight. And now Narcissus, he's lost. He's like, I need help. And he could hear a female Echo, I need help. Who was there? A female Echo. We bring back who was there. So he's following this Echo that he think it's not a male person, it's a female. So he's following this Echo. And she grabs him out of embrace, like, yes, you heard me. Um, you found me. It was like some Disney movie type shit. Where it's like, you know what? You could release me from this curse. Just love me back, and this curse is released. He pushes her away. And he's like, no, I don't want you. How can I ever want you? You're not even good enough for me. So he runs off. Now he bumps into another group of nymphs who are like hot. Uh, hen- how you say it? Hentai? Hentai girls. Hentai girls. He runs into hentai girls. And he even rejects them. So now the hentai girls, the nymphs, are so upset and so scorned by Narcissus, they pray to the goddess um, called Nemesis. And she avenges. When Nemesis sees what's going on, she curses Narcissus that he can never receive the love in return. So, the same way he would reject a woman or men, he would be rejected by someone that he fell in love with so deeply. The next day, Narcissus, he's going hunting. He sees a beautiful thing fall off. He goes and chases it, not knowing it's Nemesis, the goddess of vengeance, who leads him to a stream of water. He looks in the stream of water. He stoops down to get a drink. He sees his reflection and he falls in love with it instantly. He's so in love with his own reflection that he no longer wants to touch the water to, to get get a drink because he's afraid to break that smile that is reflecting back at him does that not sound like uh, social media today that's as deep as a narcissist as I think you could get you're thirsty you're looking at water but you don't want to touch the water because you don't want to mess mm-hmm. up your reflection in it that, that does sound like social media Dane I think that's pretty deep that does so, sound like social media. Narcissus dies from hunger and thirst. The reason he died from hunger, he did not want to leave the stream because he did not want to lose what he fell in love with, which was his reflection. And he did not drink the water because he did not want to break that reflection. And that's one story, one version of it. Um, a flower grew in his place. And the nymphs, the hentai, named that flower the narcissistic flower. 